Hi, it's Stuart Sutton at One Acre Plus Homes. If you're thinking about selling your home, you have to know this one question to ask real estate agents. If you don't know this one, well, you'll be at a big disadvantage. We have lots of different questions we can find online from other agents, but this is one you probably aren't going to find somewhere else, and it is important that you include this one. Take a look at the short video. You'll see what I mean. Typically, the type of questions that homeowners are encouraged to ask when they go online and Google this sort of thing are questions like, how many homes did you sell in the last 90 days or in the last year? Those might seem valid, but they're fairly generic and vague. Let's just say that one agent sold five homes in the last 90 days and another agent sold 10 homes in the last 90 days. Does that automatically qualify the person who sold 10 homes as a better agent? Of course not. What if the agent who sold five homes sold them all very close to asking? all in less than 30 days, while the one who sold 10 homes took much longer to sell, several months each, did not get close to asking, had to lower the price several times on most listings. Five versus 10, 10 sounds better, but when you take it in context, it does not qualify the person who sold more homes as the better candidate to list your home. We encourage a more in-depth line of questioning about pricing and preparation and presentation and promotion. But I'm not going to go into those. We're going to talk about the one question that I mentioned in the introduction, and that is your personal business philosophy. Personal business philosophy is crucial when you hire a real estate agent. Why? Because your experience throughout is going to be based on how this agent views you as a client. How do they view you as a client? Well, if you've looked at any history regarding customer service, you see companies like Zappos, famous, endless number of stories for incredible customer service. Same with Nordstrom's, Chick-fil-A, Amazon. Don't know about you, but we never have any problem with Amazon. If we want to make a return, no questions asked, done. They even make it easy. They make it so convenient. Well, what about the real estate industry? The listing agreement itself has a beginning and an ending date. And I'd heard so many stories over the years, and I knew it was true, that sellers who weren't getting good service wanted to get out of their listing agreement, but could not because they were locked in. It just became a standard to put a certain number of days in there. Well, I didn't think of this myself. I got it from somebody else, but I thought it was absolutely brilliant. In 1997... Uh, let's see, that's 27 years ago, I started my easy exit listing, meaning everyone, anyone who signed an agreement to hire me could exit it any time they wanted. Basically, it's a handshake agreement. If I'm doing what I'm supposed to, if I'm marketing, if I'm communicating, if I'm doing the things that I committed to, then we would continue to work together. But if the seller wanted for any reason, any reason, to get out of the listing agreement, all they had to do was call, text, or email. Well, let me step back. I don't think there was any texting in 1997. But the point is that they could contact me any way they needed. There's no penalty. There's no obligation. There's no hassle. Bottom line is, if someone doesn't want to be working with me, then I certainly don't need to be working with them either. It's extraordinarily rare for someone to exit one of our listings because we know that every single day, every single person who hires us has the right to terminate the agreement if we're not performing. Therefore, we make it our highest priority to perform and meet and exceed the expectations of our clients. Let's talk about the big impact of providing this type of clause in a listing agreement. Well, it puts you, the seller, in control. And that is very uncomfortable for a lot of people in a lot of industries, not just the real estate industry. But in the real estate industry, it means that you could terminate that any given time and the real estate agent would be out a possible commission. You see, the real estate industry is one of the few where agents put in time and effort for the chance to get a commission later. That's not common in most industries. I'm going to cover some of the real quick biggest reasons most agents will not do a guarantee of service. The fear of you exercising the easy exit because they didn't perform. Well, this is simply a lack of confidence or a lack of performance. If they know that they have a chance of not performing, they wouldn't be comfortable. If they know absolutely, hey, I'm going to perform, I'm going to do what I promised, what I committed, then why wouldn't they provide a guarantee of service? What about fear of losing your business without getting paid? As I mentioned, agents do a lot of things up front for the chance to get paid later, and they don't want the chance of wasting that. Well, once again, I'm going to go back to if you do what you're supposed to do 
If you do what you're committed to do and you do a good job of it, the home's going to sell, it's going to close, and you're going to get paid. Why wouldn't you provide a service guarantee? And then, of course, fear that you won't treat them fairly. What if you decide to exit and they are doing their job? As I said, my easy exit is for any reason. You don't have to have any reason to exit. I've only had one time in 27 years when someone tried to take advantage of me. Because the bottom line is, I feel like if I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, if I'm going to provide a guarantee of service, that people are going to honor that. And I found that to be true. If someone doesn't trust that you'll treat them fairly, they probably shouldn't be doing business with you anyway. And it goes the other way. If you don't trust them, you shouldn't be doing business with them because that relationship is based on trust. These are the three biggest. There are others, but these are the three biggest reasons agents don't provide an easy exit listing. The reason I know this is because I've been training agents to do that since I started doing it in 1997. And very few ever take it on and put it into place as part of their business. Asking that question and asking why is something I highly encourage you to do. If they're not offering you a listing back guarantee, a guarantee of service, a guarantee of performance, ask them why not. One of the common answers I've come across is, well, our company doesn't do that. I don't think that's an excuse. I've been with three major organizations in my career, and I'm now with my fourth, and none of them had that policy. But I've always had it as a personal policy because it is my personal business philosophy. Now, even if the agent doesn't offer that guarantee, when you ask that question and have that discussion with them, you might get a better idea of the type of person they are. Because I do believe strongly that personal business philosophy is a huge issue when it comes to a transaction like this. Let's face it, you wouldn't hire a plumber or an electrician or a roofer unless they provided a guarantee of service. I just had a huge plumbing job done on our house. Oh, it was just a nightmare. It was exhausting. But what if the plumber and I had a conversation like this? Me, hey, do you provide any guarantee or warranty for your work? Plumber, no, we just do the job and then leave. I don't think we'd have continued further if the conversation were like that. Of course we expect warranty and service for work done. But real estate is one of the few industries where you don't find that to be common. And believe me, the fees are large enough that you should have some pretty strong expectations to get the performance that was committed to you. I hope that makes sense. Now, I did throw a couple more videos up here. They do refer to the type of service that we provide and go into more detail on that. I hope the video you just watched was helpful. I hope these are helpful. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe. And remember, it's your choice. So make it a powerful day.